We are back and settled into the West Coast, Northern California to be specific. I'm finding it really strange that you can go away and change only to come back to things just as they were. After taking about a week and tending to many of the errands that we had to get done in town, we were finally able to leave the busy city and get back to nature where we really wanted to be. To our surprise, we caught ourselves in what seemed to be a late spring snow dusting. We weren't so upset about it because it was just so beautiful. Hey, I'm Louie. For the past three years, I've been living nomadically and by my own rules. First I started off in this van, then I built out this van, and now I'm starting a new adventure in this Jeep. Follow along as I build out a new vehicle, learn how to off-road, and take you along for all of my adventures. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to all of my patrons, and an extra special thank you to the following supporters. Good morning everyone, and welcome to a snowy winter wonderland in the end of April. <laughs> It is so beautiful out here. Um, it's a bit nippy, I'm not gonna lie. Last night it got down to 28 degrees, 27 or 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And yeah, it's been a while since I've been in such cold weather, since we've all been in such cold weather. So that was a little bit of a shock to our system, but we woke up this morning to this beautiful, just light dusting of snow. And it's kind of magical, I'm gonna be honest. Last night I was hoping that we would wake up to some snow. So on today's agenda, um, I'm feeling a bit crusty right now. Um, <laughs> I haven't showered in um, an undisclosed amount of time that I do not want to say on the internet. <laughs> but today I'm gonna to show you guys how I plan on showering out here and collecting water, because um, we're kind of low on water right now. But I have a plan and you shall see. But we're gonna collect some water, take a shower, um, and then I wanna show you guys kind of how I've been living out of my Jeep. Um, it's a no build build right now as I'm waiting for some things to come in the mail to start getting this whole system nice and organized and comfy and adventure ready. So I'm super excited to show you guys that. Um, it's really surprising how little you need. Um, Disclosure, I am using my mom's um, composting toilet and we've been cooking in her uh, van most nights. So yeah, I'm just waiting for a couple things in the mail. And right now I'm trying to decide if I want to build this out in California or Oregon, because Oregon, as some of you may know, the lumber prices in the US have really risen because the demand is really high right now. And so I'm trying to decide if I wanna just wait to do it in Oregon. Um, I'm just gonna build it out in a Home Depot or a Lowe's. I'll probably go shop at Lowe's and build in their parking lot <laughs> uh, and show you guys every step of the way, of course, but it's really amazing how little you need. I think that it's like, I feel like I'm trying to take not having perfect, a perfect setup in stride and just seeing how little that you actually need to live and be happy, especially when you're in nature. It's a little hard when you're in the city, but you really don't need much to be happy. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Again, how's it going? If you're new here, subscribe. Mwah! <laughs> oh God, I'm so corny. All of the trees are dripping right now and it sounds beautiful. Those trees over there have already completely thawed out, but these ones are still doing it. I'll show you. <sighs> Everything is melting very quickly out here. Oh, but it smells so good. Like I can't, oh, I can't describe to you just how the smell is. If you've been in the forest before after a fresh rain or snow, I can smell some campfires and I smell pine and the air is just so cold and fresh and oh, it's so good. If you have access to a forest, go out to your this time of year is so beautiful.
you wild doggo, I need to get you a nice sweater. I keep saying I'm gonna do it, and then every time we come to somewhere cold, I'm like, man, I really should have bought him that sweater that one time. I kinda wanna knit him one out of like wool or something. But he'll be really, really warm. I'm a savage, yeah, classy, bougie, bad. Acting stupid, what's happening? What's happening? Okay, but I'm literally singing because I'm so freaking nervous that there might be a bear over here because it's been so quiet back here. So I'm just being as loud as I possibly can. I got my bear spray and I'm a brave young woman. I got this. There's literally people on the AT and the PCT hiking by themselves right now, so it's fine. You just have to be aware of your surroundings. <laughs> I'm faux brave, guys. I'm faux brave. Because this actually really scares me. It's so beautiful here, though. If I was a black bear, I wouldn't want to mess with Louie. Because she's just filling. My advice is don't read Reddit. Don't read Reddit forms. Just read actual facts, factual books. It's so cold. It's beautiful, fresh, frozen, fresh um, melting water from snow caps. Thank you. It's good for showering. The other alternative is an ice dip, but that's not me. I know there are some YouTubers on the internet who are into these freezing water ice dip things. That's not me. That will never be me. If you really look at the contrast from this morning, there's no snow here now. This little fire pit doesn't have snow on it. It's about midday now. The trees no longer have snow on them. Kind of cool how you can start the day with a bunch of snow and end the day with no snow. The final spring. It's the final snow of the spring, I think, for now. I wouldn't be mad with a little another with another sprinkling of snow like this. Guys, look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's steaming. Everything's drying out. All right, so it's time for me to get together my space a little bit better and kind of pare down what I'm gonna need for the next couple of weeks. I am going to, yeah, just see what I can put in storage for the time being um, until we uh, head north. We're going to be doing a trip up north and we'll get to why in a couple of videos, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I just ordered a 
goal zero system. I'm selling all of my solar stuff from Coco and just turning that money into a smaller system that is more workable, less clunky for the space. And yeah, and then I just ordered a cool, yesterday I ordered a little kitchen pull out um, counter that has a little chopping board that pulls out. Um, yeah, for the back. So I just want to get everything like really put together and like simple. I just want simple. Like I want a no build build technically. Um, I think I might eventually this summer build some sort of platform for my bed to store stuff under. But I'm thinking for this season, the summer season, I'm just gonna go very very simple. No build build and yeah and then the next season upgrade some more but <laughs> for now we're just gonna go plain and simple and see if I can spend the whole summer living like that. The weather's getting nicer so we're gonna be outdoors all the time. Um, so don't worry y'all, those of you who are worrying about William living in a smaller space. Um, he's outside most of the time now. There's rarely a day where he's stuck inside. Like yesterday was raining all day but we just hung out in my mom's van. So thank thanks to her that kind of helps, you know, break it up a little bit. But yeah, the goal is to be outside all summer long in a very simple build. I just want to wake up every morning and um, get footage and explore. I feel like this is really my chance to practice minimalism like to an extreme and kind of show the pro process of that. So that is what we're going to do. William is basking in the sun while I clean the Jeep out and figure things out. But he's been running around all morning and hanging out with me. So this is all the stuff I have in the Jeep right now. Basically, just like a little trash bag. Um, the Jeep is very dirty at the moment. Um, the seat's up, but I'm gonna take my little vacuum. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard for me to see the screen here, but it's very dirty from traveling. Um, so I'm going to take my little vacuum and vacuum as best as I can. Just get it clean. The goal is to have as little stuff in here where I could easily, if I wanted, move all of it to the back here and pull those seats up so that if I want to go off-roading with my mom or a friend and I want to take William with me, I want him to be able to sit in the back easy and I want to just be able to pull everything out and vacuum everything really quickly. We're going ultra minimal. Like this is the most minimal I've ever been. And disclaimer, yes, I do still have stuff in storage. So this isn't all the stuff that I own. But um, for the summer, we're going to go very lightweight. I'm really excited about it, actually. <laughs> just the things I solely need. It's a little experiment. This is a little vacuum I have. My mom gave it to me a while back. It's not super great, so I don't recommend it unless you want to just have a cheaper vacuum. I'll probably upgrade to something a little stronger here in a few months, but for now this works. We're taking it to a car wash works, but you work with what you have. All right, so things are moving along smoothly. Put the bed back in. I tried to vacuum all the hair off of everything, but that's not gonna happen because I that's life with a dog. But I'm trying to pretty much fit everything here. My electronics are gonna go here, just right next to me. Still trying to decide if I'm gonna have William sleep in the front or if I'm gonna have him sleep in the back. Um, I think he's gonna have to sleep in the front, um, which I'll show you because I'm gonna be putting in my fridge back here. So let's see. So we're gonna try it out, but he fits in here pretty well. He likes to like bundle up when he's sleeping. Get in a little ball, sleep here. And then I put his blankie on him. And I'll be cutting out little reflectics for these windows. And I have this one here for the front. But I think that'll do it. And I have my water here. And yeah. So now I'm just going through my clothes and figuring out my cooking situation because I'm super excited to be getting my new piece that will be going right here and I'll be able to cook there. I think I'm going to upgrade to a two burn burner stove. 
That'll be really nice to have. And I can set up a little kitchen here. And then I'll have my food and stuff here. Um, and then another bin with my clothes. But my food and things will be here and I can just easily access that. And then also put the water container on top here. And I need to get a little foldable, like foldable sink thing that I can use to do dishes and brush my teeth and wash my face and stuff like that. But yeah, it's coming along good, making a pile of stuff to either get rid of or um, put into storage and really looking forward to finishing this and taking a nice shower. And yeah, things are coming together. I like it. Yeah. And then I'm thinking for this season, I'll probably get a little rack that goes on the back. So you close this and then there's a little rack that sits here that I can hold a shovel for, you know, outdoor bathroom times disposing of that correctly a little trash bag thing here for if I need to carry it for all the trash I need to carry out and if I need to carry out human waste uh, not a very fun thing to have to talk about but uh, it's, it's part of it so I want to do that then have a little rack here to carry extra gas cans and my shovel and an axe and all that needs to go there so that'll be good. Yeah, I'm trying to stay within a very, not a tight budget, but I'm trying to stay within a very uh, minimal budget because your girl spent practically her life savings on this Jeep. <laughs> so we're gonna, we gotta start at zero and continue our saving and all of that and work hard to get to the next level of things that I would like to buy, but that's just the process. And when you don't have a lot, keep it minimal. Um, there's lots of people on YouTube that I can definitely attribute my inspiration to for uh, SUV le living and being able to get out into nature, a 4x4, um, that I definitely appreciate. So, yeah, I hope I can be another person who says, you can do it. All right, we're having a little snack, and it is flurrying, mm -hmm. light flurry. Mm -hmm. It went from a sunny day to a chilly day. And it's blue over there, the sky. It's probably just that cloud is gonna pass. Mm. Got my bed, I'm gonna build a platform here. Got my clothes, got my cooking and food stuff in there. Got my electronics here. Um, my little power situation is gonna go here. And then the fridge and yeah. Oh wow, it's really flurrying now. It's flurrying now. <laughs> Barely, but I think that's snow. <laughs> go outside, William. Go outside. Yeah, let's go be free. So we're all showered. I got my Pride and Prejudice bangs on <laughs> and mom just left to go to a dental appointment and I'm gonna go hike Bassey Falls here in El Dorado Forest with William, get some exercise. Poor guy's been like, first it was rainy and snowy and I didn't wanna go on a long walk with him. And then yesterday I was just busy getting a bunch of work done. So today I'm gonna treat him to a nice hike. I was a little bit uh, optimistic in thinking that it was going to be warm enough to wear shorts because I think it's April and you should be able to wear shorts in April. Um, but no, so I'm gonna change my pants real quick, clean up the van, and we're gonna head out for a hike. And that, and then this little piece here. Still have to cover these and this look is iconic. It's kind of funny. Sorry, Wolfie. Seat back. Enough for me. Water bottle here. 
All right, we're set to go. You ready for a walk, buddy? We're gonna go for a cool hike. You've been here, remember last year? When we went there? Went to Bassey Falls? You love that. <laughs> Ooh, my bangs be looking fluffy. Let's just put it that way. Fluff. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're just gonna go with the fluff. Just go with it. Puddle. That tree is old. Look at that. This part of the Sierra Nevadas is like where I first learned about off-roading and how I first got into uh, camping and stuff. Um, yeah, so this is like my favorite area of California. Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. I want this to be here for generations to come. fallen since the last time I've been here. Wow. We gotta get a, a William over this tree. William, come here, Bubba. Come here. Come on, over the tree. Come here. <laughs> come on, William. Here, let me help you out. Okay. Oh, one, two, three, you got it. Go. Oh, you big, strong boy. He's ultra proud of himself for being able to do that. That's he falls. One mile and three tenths. That's Bassy Falls. And I think the trail goes around this way actually. We can go down to it. Some lunch. I'm hungry. 